Hey guys, how's it going? This is James here with a extremely important tutorial of what I think, in my honest opinion, um, is really important, okay? Before I upgraded my NVIDIA drivers to 337.50, I remember, um, the beta drivers, I think these are the current beta drivers out for NVIDIA right now, along with the release of uh, GeForce Experience 2.0. Before I upgraded these drivers, I realized that Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag was completely unplayable for me. No matter what the settings were on, I could turn the resolution to 800 by 600 and everything on low, and I'd still only have 20 frames per second max all right now um i did uninstall the game and i recently installed it back again because i have found a fix for that okay there are two fixes okay now if you go into your options in assassin's creed 4 and you see the option for physics cut it off okay that will give you some really really awesome frame rates and also turn off vsync i don't notice any um tearing um with vsync off but um, if you're still experiencing low FPS and you still have physics off, this is what you're going to do. You're going to pop open um, NVIDIA control panel. You're going to go to your control panel. You're going to go to manage 3D settings and program settings. And you're going to add Assassin's Creed 4 so you can customize the profile, okay? And then once you add it, you're going to scroll all the way down. And you're going to turn off vertical sync. It should be on use, use the 3D application setting. Cut that off. And triple buffering. <laughs> triple buffering should be on off. You're gonna cut that on, okay? And you're gonna hit apply, and you're gonna, uh, and um, automatically you're gonna notice some really good frames in Assassin's Creed 4, and it's be gonna become completely playable. Now, um, the specs of my rig, I have an Asus G53 JW gaming notebook with a GeForce GTX 460M at 1.5 gigabytes of GDDR5. Now, people also running on a 780Ti graphics card can even say that they've noticed bad frame rates uh, because the game isn't really optimized um, for apparently for physics configuration even in NVIDIA cards some people have to set up SLI configurations just to get the game to work at playable frame rates it's maxed out at 60 so if you if your system can max it out um, just turn on triple buffering and now allow 60 frames per second if VSync is on it'll cut off your frames for about 20% Alright, so right now we're going to switch into game preview mode, and I am going to turn on Assassin's Creed Black Flag, and right now I have 30 FPS, but that's because I'm recording it, okay? But usually I have 34 FPS, and my configuration right now, I'm going to go into options right here, graphics, and the resolution is at 1600 by 900, and everything's on low. Now, when I finish this video, I'm gonna play with my settings to see what the best things I can get. But I can also run this very playable on 1080p. But I prefer 1600 by 900 because I still get a 5 FPS boost. All right, but as you can see here, um, everything is off. I don't have the option for physics here, but the game is extremely playable with really great frames. I'm running rooftops. 29 is the lowest it dips to but other than that the frames are ridiculously good I'm in Havana right here as you can see so like I said this fix is going to work for you NVIDIA card users now AMD card users um, uh, if the settings for AMD Catalyst Control Center are the same just cut off VSync and, tr and cut on triple buffering and I'm sure you would have the same playable settings so let's go ahead and, and get out of this game and go back to the tutorial mode but that's all you got to do guys so if this helped you please be sure to leave a like down make sure you hit that like button don't forget to subscribe for more videos and game fixes tech reviews unboxing and stuff like that and don't forget to check out my gaming channel where I'm doing let's plays such as Dark Souls 2 the original Dark Souls and Assassin's Creed now I can do now I can do Assassin's Creed 4 and I'm pretty excited about that but don't forget to subscribe to this channel and my gaming channel if you like it um, like I said leave it a thumbs up follow me on Twitter add me on Google Plus to keep up to date with the latest news on stuff and happenings before it gets to YouTube. So thanks for watching this video guys. And until next time, take care. Peace.